Hi, this is Robert Ranieri, and we have a painting here which is of the Octayon series, which comes from Greek mythology. And my website already has a number of works of this type, this category, there. And what we have, of course, there's a vertical emphasis in this painting, and the verticality is, let's say, developed because of the way there's a kind of, uh, say, stacking. Uh, of course, you have the orange-based uh, forms, which can be, uh, say, one can refer to the other back and forth. And I see this uh, large architectural figure form as one figure, but there's also another, uh, say, issue here in that this, we'll say this is the knee and the, the uh, calf, knee and calf, of a, a very large figure which is completed up here, even to the degree that there's a kind of silhouette of a dark head. So the figure, say, vocabulary is repeated by work fairly often, and you have it in this dispersed, particularly dispersed uh, condition, which allows for a, 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 an, opp it's an opportunity to invent, reinvent forms in space, and if it's figure-like or architectural, because as you may have noticed in my other videos, architecture is a primary, i say, opportunity to, inc to include the art forms, vaulted forms, or say, uh, a vault uh, in the scene uh, cut through with a vertical uh, aspect, uh, sliced through, vertical section of it, and then you have a continuance of this idea of, of cutting out and having, whether it's a, a hallway or a, just a layering of one ovoid or a vault, vaulted space in front of another, and then even the sense of perhaps reflective pools, which often occurs in Hadrian's villa, there's a particular section called the street clinium, which leads to a dining room area, a separate whole building which has reflected pools around us, so it's a building complex with a surround of water as a decorative element and, a, a, say, an interesting feature of activity. And then you have the play of this vertical section versus this one, and what this does, this uh, bar of blue on top of that reticle vertical tends to recede far into the distance, so when one sees that recession, then this whole upper area can come forcefully forward as a large, uh, say, unit of uh, comprehending a number of uh, design elements. And within which, of course, you have this, it's kind of a torso figure, a torso element of a figure, which could be the torso for this as a leg. So there are visual opportunities of how the eye coordinates or conjoins several disparate uh, elements into a, a, a series of developments moving higher from low to high or even crosswise. And you can see here on the right, there's a notation of an ovoid form, which is part of my notation in terms of, say, choreographic or music notation. And you have a series of marks here which activate this area and give a kind of musical counterpoint to the larger issues in terms of their dark silhouetting and so forth throughout. So that's the issue here of a, a freely uh, a concatenation or linking together of figure parts and architecture in an imaginary setting. And there'll be more of those later. Thank you.